Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa Fan and today, as you can see by the title, I have a huge, huge announcement and I kind of already spoiled it because I couldn't hold it in very much longer. But yes, I am going to be moving to London for my first semester of college. Get into this little video i wanted to thank amazon for sponsoring today's video i will get into amazon and prime student in a little bit but i did want to just let you guys know that i am moving to london this video is all about me going abroad a lot of you guys have been waiting for this video and asking me where i'm going why i'm going and all that stuff so i'll be answering a lot of your guys' questions in this video but to begin, I just wanted to catch you guys up if you haven't been up to date with my college stuff. So I got accepted to Northeastern University and I chose to go to England for my first semester. And if you told me a year ago that I would be in London for my first semester of college, I wouldn't believe you at all. A lot of you guys asked if I planned on this. If, like, like I always thought of going abroad my very, very first semester of college. I do not plan on this at all. I definitely wanted to get away from home and go to another state, but I did not know I'd be going out of the country. So this is definitely a lot um, to take in, not a lot that I had to think about for the past couple of months and choosing the location I wanted to go to and all that type of stuff. And a lot of you guys have been asking me if I'm prepared for this, if I have packed, what my tips are. And to be honest, I have no tips, but I do have a suggestion um, because I love Amazon. I know you guys will love Amazon, especially if you're a student. I'll be using Amazon a lot for my college adventure here. I've already shopped on their off to college storefront, which I will link down below for you guys to check out. It is beautiful. It is so aesthetically pleasing. The setup is so robust. It is amazing. Um, you guys can browse a ton of duvet covers, decor, other essential supplies, all that type of stuff on the storefront for college. And I just find that super, super helpful just to have everything all in one place for me to shop for college, which I'll be really, really utilizing when I get over to London. Um, and I'm also going to be using Amazon Prime Student Membership to help me out as well. And if you guys don't know what Amazon Prime Student is, it's a membership on Amazon that you guys can try out for six months with your .edu email, which I will leave all info for it down below. You guys can use your membership to stream TV shows, stream music, get college essentials all for a discounted price and also get free fast shipping once you order from your prime student membership and it's awesome i'm definitely going to be using it while i'm at college it's perfect everyone loves amazon prime so if you're a student you're going to love amazon prime student so i will now show you guys how to sign up for amazon prime student in a short little clip and we're going to keep on going with this video i will show you guys a bit of what i have purchased so far for college Got you Drake on them. <laughs> Bitch, don't follow me. Uh, I don't want my cheese. Uh, money be the villain. I'm still gobbling on my green. They like, ooh, down. Lock you like a beaver. Yellow fellow, he just need a beamer. Or a chick like Rita. She won't get wild. Now, without further ado, I'm gonna do a quick little haul, my first few items for college, and I'm kind of excited. I haven't shown any of this to anyone. It's getting me quite excited to go off to college. I know it's a, br I know it's kind of a lot to bring for for abroad, but I uh. I kind of need this in my life, so let's let's just get into it. The first thing I have here is a Breda, and if you guys don't know what Breda is, it's basically a water filtering system. And I think this is gonna be perfect for my little dorm room, and I can just bring this with me everywhere, wherever I go. Oopsies. Um, here's the size. It's like perfect. They have different colors, and I just chose this really sleek, kind of steel color. I don't know, with a little blue handle. I think it's just really, really cute. Um, I love this. I'm quite excited because when I think of Brita, I think of all the college videos I saw last year before I wasn't going to college yet. And I feel like this is gonna be great and very, very helpful for me to use in my dorm room and on the go while in London. Here, I also have a little lunch container and I thought this would be helpful because I'm probably gonna be on the go a lot and I don't wanna spend too much money on going outside for food. So I'm gonna try to cook up some things myself while in London. You guys are gonna see some videos about that. But we have a shared kitchen in my residence hall and so, 
what I can do is just pack like a little thing, um, kind of meal prep for the night and then bring this with me on the go because my campus is a bit far from where I'm living. So I just want to bring some food with me if I can. I also have some, you know, actual like dorm essentials. I have here my first college command hook. These are like the epitome of college essential. Yeah, my first command hook here is just a really, really big one. I think I'm just gonna use this for my bag, like my tote bags and stuff. I also have my own little Echo Dot from Amazon. I am super excited for this. I'm gonna try to help, I'll try to like you figure this out and see how well it works with my residence hall Wi-Fi, but hopefully it does work because this is gonna be very, very helpful. Um, and I can just literally do anything on this. I can just play my music on this and like, how lovely. I also have a desk lamp with me here and this makes me super excited because, well, number one, I'm just a nerd and I get excited over things like desk lamps. But this just means I'm gonna have my own desk space. I haven't had my own desk for a really long time. I kind of converted my room to a very like cozy kind of room so I don't have a desk in here and I haven't had one to work on in a while. So I'm excited to set up my desk. This is a really cool sleek little lamp here and I'm going to definitely show you guys a little tour when I get over to London get excited for that. But this is just a LED desk lamp and it's dimmable. It has eye protection, like all that good stuff. Speaking of lights, I also have some string lights that I want to use. I'm not going to put this on top of tapestry or anything so it's not going to be like a fire hazard. And these are the type of lights where it's like the actual little dots of, um, of string light. This is kind of messy but it's just like a copper kind of string and it has little dots of little lights so i think this is gonna be super cute to dress up my area hopefully i get the bottom bunk so i can um kind of go along with what i'm imagining at the moment but if not we're gonna work with it um i also have another decorative piece for my bed area or desk area these are little hooks for photos these are like little stars and we have little photo hooks little um little clips for my photos and I'm definitely gonna bring my Polaroid camera with me and maybe do some disposables just so that I can hang it up and bring some photos from home so I can like remember everyone. Since my room already comes with a comforter, like it's a like a blanket and pillows, it already comes with all that. So I'm trying to, I guess I wanna also make it easy for me to clean my bed. I bought a duvet cover. It's basically a white sheet that you just stuff your blanket inside of it and you can like do that with any other duvet cover and it's just super easy. I don't know why I haven't discovered it but I found it on the Amazon Opti College page so I had to grab that just so that's easy for me to do the sheets. It's easy for me to change them out if I want to but I also did get a blanket because I'm extra and I should not be bringing large blankets with me to college over all the way over in London but I did it so don't judge me do not thank you so much what I have here is a faux fur blanket and it's so so soft I'm really excited about this one I haven't opened it up yet just because I wanted to show you guys the packaging of the blanket but I'm gonna open this up and use it at home for a little bit just so that it has like my home scent kind of and then I'm also gonna bring this with me to college I'm not gonna bring any of my other blankets from home just because they I don't know those just represent home to me and I just want something different for college I, I don't know if that makes sense to anyone but um, I have like a vision going on for what I want my bed and my desk area to look like in London for the next three and a half months. So, and yeah, this is part of it. This faux fur blanket is part of that vision. I will show you guys what I mean when I set up my whole entire room. Anyway, that is all for my little mini college haul in this video. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the Q&A so that I can answer a bunch of your guys' questions about college and how these items are gonna help me because I literally need help so bad. So the main question that you guys asked me was, why study abroad my first semester? Like, why did I choose to do this? Um, what made me come to this decision? And many of my friends also ask me this question. A lot of people get confused as to why I am leaving already for abroad my very first semester of college. Like, what am I, like, am I gonna miss out on a lot of stuff? Sure, but I'm also going abroad. So anyway, what made me want to do abroad was after hearing everything that was so good about the NUN program at Northeastern, I was super hyped about it. Of course, as you guys saw from my reaction, if you didn't watch, I can link it right here, my college decision reactions video. I was kind of confused as to what I was at Northeastern because I read on College Confidential and things like that, like the really sketchy, like really weird website, not sketchy, but like people just talk really mean on those websites. And they were talking about how like NUN is for the kids 
kids that Northeastern wants to accept that they don't want to use like the stats in their averages like and I understand that my stats aren't the best which I will be talking in a later video but Northeastern does accept one-third or they did accept one-third of their incoming class to the NUN program and that means one-third of us are going abroad our first semester and that's a lot of us um, about 300 are going to be in London so I'm not gonna be like completely left out of the loop of Northeastern and of course I'm gonna miss out on like the beginning of the year kind of like get to know me's for all the other two-thirds of the class and getting to know the campus and all that type of stuff but I'll be in London and I'm going to be like I'm I'm gonna be way too excited to even think about what I have to deal with in January which is not much I just have to go to orientation again I have to get to know the campus again and start making other friends outside of NUN which I'm not super worried about but um what made me want to do this was just hearing about how it was so good from other NUN students in the past and while I'm in London I can travel to other European countries and just really experience life outside of the US for a while which I've only ever lived in a small little town here in Maryland so I'm excited for the change and this is why I chose to go abroad why I chose to do the NUN program at Northeastern the next question I got a lot was is it expensive how much did it cost how much is it actually costing you and your family and I'm not super uncomfortable talking about this just because you guys can definitely look this up online as well but um, the NUN program at Northeastern cannot be covered financially with financial aid or anything so you have to come up with the money by yourself and the total cost is around $35,000 for the semester which is a lot of money but you guys also have to keep in mind that it is a private school Northeastern is a private school so it's already expensive in the beginning this program is about $10,000 more than it would be to like attend Northeastern like normally so I'm very blessed to be able to afford this program and do this program my parents are paying for my college for at least the first two years of um, Northeastern and then I'll be taking over all the financials when I have to because my younger sister is going into college as well and so is my older sister so I'll be making enough to pay for my own college in about two years so I'm very thankful to my parents for them to be paying this um, huge amount of money for me to go to college and go abroad it's crazy but I'm very very excited a lot of you guys also asked how I'm going to be packing everything um, how am I moving my things well number one I don't really need to move much because the dorm room is already kind of furnished with everything I need there's chairs desks all that type of stuff that it's in a normal dorm I don't really need organizers or anything and if I do I'll buy them all in London I'm planning on buying all of like my heavy-duty toiletries so like shampoo conditioners um, hot tools all that type of stuff over in London because number one hot tools the plug is different than the US and needs a lot of watts I'm pretty sure and a converter is not going to be like enough for a flat iron from the US so I'm just gonna buy all my hot tools over there if I need to and I'm gonna buy any organizers and hangers over there if I need to so um, yeah all that I'm gonna be buying over there I'm not gonna be shipping a bunch of hangers and stuff from Maryland to London like that makes zero sense while I'm like by myself going by myself to London I'm gonna need to pack as little as possible because I have to carry um, everything that's mine I'm, I'm not gonna have help so yeah I mean on my way back my parents are gonna pick me up and they're gonna be able to help me with all my luggage and stuff but when I'm there I'm only gonna be packing a carry-on item a personal bag and a big luggage the next question I got a lot from you guys was what are you going to study in the program so a lot of you guys always ask me about my major which you guys would know if you guys watched my other two college videos but I am majoring in business with a entrepreneurship concentration and while I'm in London I'll be taking um, a kind of general ed class that all of us anyone students are taking I'll be taking microeconomics I'm pretty sure then business calc as an English course of some sort I think there's one more if that's like the four I'm pretty sure if there's one more I'll let you guys know but I'm taking the basic classes I'm doing like the business calc and like the microeconomics and stuff that go along with my major like the general classes and I'll be housed with all my business students um, together in one place so I know that my roommate a lot of you guys also asked me like if I know my roommate am I gonna have a roommate I do I have not met her yet I don't know who she is and I'm pretty sure all of us meet our roommate and know who they are once we get to London so I'll be meeting her and if I can vlog it I will I'm not sure if she'll be comfortable with that just because I don't know who she is but the one thing we all do have in common is our business major because our building is only business major students so that's what I know about her and I guess that's a good common ground if we both study the same thing we can like study together 
and work off of each other and just like be calm in that same space but hopefully she's not too uncomfortable with the camera i did note on my like dorm application thingy that i film videos and that i often work inside my dorm and i like it quiet so um yeah let's see how that works out so bouncing off the whole roommate thing and my housing situation you guys also like asked about my housing situation like my living situation so without throwing all my personal information out there i'll be living in a residence hall that's about 30 minutes away from my campus and my school is providing all of us with like our oyster cards and all the cards we need to get around the city and things like that um which is super super nice the next question was did you choose the country you were going to and if you did why did you choose that country so in the NUN program there's a vast um like variety of countries you can choose from and for my major i got to choose between london prague and rome i'm pretty sure there might have been one more but for me i was choosing between london prague and rome rome fills up really really fast and london was my next choice so that was the way i chose it i did um love the fact that italy had like warm weather and all that type of stuff but i also took into account like language barriers and things like that in prague and rome and i mean english is used everywhere but in london english is english and i know i'll just have to learn the slang and things like that but that in itself is the easier transition for me so that i know that anyone i talk to is going to speak english they're going to hear my american accent but in the end choosing london i think is the perfect like plan for me it's like the perfect choice for me just because it's abroad it's away from home and anything like that but there's no language barrier a lot of you guys also asked about my nervousness my excitement any of that stuff am i like scared of living alone moving away from family what am i excited for what am i going to be seeing so number one you guys have to know that i am the most excited ever i am more excited that i am nervous so like those nerves haven't really kind of come up to the top yet but i'm super excited to be living in a different city and using the city as my classroom which is one of the things they really push at orientation that we're going to be traveling around the city using it to our advantage while we're there to learn and i'm so so happy super super excited about that and i just can't wait to meet new people i've been with the same people since i was in kindergarten here back home and i mean i have like influencer friends like social media friends but like to meet other new college students and other um people out there i'm so happy about and there's so many different kinds of people like at orientation i met so many different kinds of people and everyone was super interesting everyone had their own stories and everyone's from everywhere and it's just super super cool as for my nerves of course i'm nervous about meeting my roommate the classes navigating the city and things like that but i'm pretty good with travel on my own and i always loved being alone away from everything i just work best alone and just i feel more inspired when i'm in a new environment so i am super happy about that and again with inspiration you guys are asking if i'm going to be uploading regularly if it's going to be in the way of youtube and i don't think it's going to be at all if anything it's going to inspire me to make more videos and i'm so excited for all my college vlogs like my study with me's and week in my life day in my lives and things like that and just talking about college also some of my normal beauty videos that's pretty much all of the major questions i got from you guys about study abroad if you guys have any other questions leave them down below and i'll respond to you all directly um but i'll also be making separate videos in the future all about college why i chose my major and things like that keep updated on my instagram i post a lot on my stories so follow me on instagram at lisa x fan and again don't forget to check out amazon prime student i cannot stress enough how helpful this is going to be for me and for you guys to get free fast shipping on anything you need for college you're going to be away from your family and i feel like amazon is just going to be there to help you out if you need something super quick if you can't go out and buy it so be sure to check all that out to help you guys out with the move again thank you to amazon for sponsoring today's video and i will see you guys in my next one i love you guys see you guys in the next video next day you forgot that i told you that this my niche play my role what you hold little boy best on reach yo shit dirt you get curved i just saw and reap with that ease hella clean rips all on your knees that's that work when you hurt my head full of steam i got lucid dreams i make movie scenes